Is SME actually dead in 2020? That is a question I've been getting quite a lot lately from SME and agency owners, especially over on my TikTok. By the way, if you guys are not following me there, go ahead and do that. Um, I put out a ton of content there. But that is one question that, I, that I've been getting consistently and I've also been uh, seeing a lot of people ask that exact same question. In this video, what I wanna do is hop on my computer and actually go through the data with you and give you my personal opinion on the topic on whether SMA is dead in 2020. A little info on me for those of you who are new to this channel. My name is Jaime and I started my agency journey a year and a half ago and I managed to scale my agency to six figures nine months into the journey. Now, what I'm doing is I'm teaching uh, other agency and SMA owners the sales and outreach part of building an agency, landing more meetings, signing more clients, and scaling their agency. So without further ado, let's hop on my computer and dive into the data and see whether SMA is actually dead in 2020. This video is gonna be very, very juicy and the answer is probably gonna surprise you, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Let's get right into it. So here we are inside my computer and let's get right into it. Is SMA dead in 2020? I'm really gonna be revealing everything inside this sideshow. I'm, I'm not only going to be giving you the data, but I'm also going to be giving you concrete advice that stems from my personal experience as well as some examples, uh, as well as uh, some examples of, of uh, current client communication, literally showing you uh, some of the emails that I've had uh, with the prospect, uh, just to illustrate a point. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be real, real juicy and let's get right into it. Estimate that in 2020. Okay, so here is really the common belief that a lot of people share in this space, uh, that a lot of people thinking about getting into SMA, that a lot of people thinking about building an agency uh, are currently having. In, and honestly, this always happens when uh, in the turn of the year. Uh, this always happens uh, with, whether it's with you know, dropshipping, Shopify, affiliate marketing, you know, people really start to question whether um, you know, there's this gold rush, whether it's still as applicable or, or as lucrative uh, as it was last year. So there's always this, uh, this common uh, misconception and this common uh, belief, which is so many people are getting into SMA. Is it even possible to get results now? Is it even possible to, su uh, to have success knowing the, the, the massive saturation that there is in the market? And so let's actually take a look at the data because you know <laughs> the, the thing about me is I'm a very analytical guy. Uh, and I don't just like to, th to throw a, uh, any sentence or any belief around. I actually you know, like to, to dive right, right into the data and to really see whether it makes sense and to really see whether uh, what a lot of people are saying has uh, good backing and good ground uh, that actually has grounds uh, to, to, to kind of have that belief, right? So yeah, I actually took a look at uh, you know, very, some very, very simple uh, Google Trends. And the fact that a lot, a lot more people are searching for social media marketing agency and uh, you, you know, you, you might think that Google Trends is, is a very, very simple thing, but it actually, it's actually a very a great indication of, um, you know, obviously trends and, and just the search volume and the, the, the interest that, that there is for a specific thing. And so here with web searches, we can see that, you know, there's, there's a massive uh, growing trend when it comes to SME. The, the funny thing is, and I'll explain my, my prediction uh, on this though, the funny thing is, if we take a look at uh, YouTube search, it's actually uh, down uh, quite a bit, as we can see here in comparison to uh, 2017, 2018, which is really when um, when Ty Lopez uh, really started, you know, going very, very, very hard on on his social media marketing agency course, uh, really advertising that a ton. Um, but yeah, as we can see here with uh, YouTube search, it's actually dropped uh, off quite a bit, um, which is which is quite uh, interesting. But actually, what I also went ahead and did. Is I compared it to dropshipping, which is, which is my opinion, um, the, the closest financial vehicle competitor, if you, if you will. Um, and as we can see here, dropshipping, uh, it's tough to see because in my opinion, SMA is such a, it's, it's a much better uh, financial vehicle than, than dropshipping for a number of reasons, which I'll probably cover in, in uh, upcoming videos. But yeah, I mean, dropshipping just knocks it out of the park uh, when it comes to, uh, to growth uh, in comparison to SMA, which, you know, there, there's a bit of growth uh, right here, but uh, we you know we can see that dropshipping is just massive, massive growth over the the past uh, you know four to five years. The reason why it was interesting for me to see that YouTube search uh, was a lot lower than uh, web search is because the thing about web search is a, is more of an indication of what you're looking for, right? It also accounts for a lot of businesses that are looking for a social media marketing agency that might be searching that term. Uh, to see what agencies rank uh, when, when you Google search that. Um, and so it, it's not just an indication of the people that are getting into the space, but also 
a, 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 you know, there, there's a very high probability that it's also an indication of the people that are looking for a social media marketing agency. Um, and so that's one of the things that I want you to keep in mind. And for me, and the, the thing about this is not is not backed with uh, you know data, but this is just my personal opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this uh, hypothesis. But when it comes to YouTube search, when it comes to YouTube, uh, I feel like a lot of people go on YouTube to learn about a, a specific topic, right? Uh, if you look, if you're looking for a social media marketing agency, or if you're looking for SMA, or if you're looking for uh, dropshipping, it's not because you're looking for an agency to come in and run your advertising. It's, it's more because you you're looking to learn about a specific topic. There's you know tons of, of tutorials on financial vehicles um, when it comes to you know YouTube right and so in my opinion um, and, and this is my personal hypothesis when it comes to YouTube search this are these are people that are actually looking to get into it to learn how to do it whereas a web search is actually more of an indication of the people that are looking for agencies uh, on the web uh, to come in and run their ad advertising so keep that in mind but what I want to do is you know, to play very safe, we can assume that yes, SMA is, is growing a lot. Uh, and you can see this with also the, the number of, of gurus uh, that have come up in, in the space and, and just, you know, doing a, a very quick uh, YouTube search, you see that a lot, more, a lot more people, including myself, are putting out uh, videos around the, uh, around the topic. And that's, that's also a good indication uh, of, of that fact. You know, if, if you take a look at, at uh, you know, if you go four years back, uh, and you take a look at uh, the, the Shopify and dropshipping content that it was on YouTube, it was very limited. Where, whereas, you know, now if you go on YouTube, um, you know, everyone on, and their mother is, is doing, uh, you know, videos on, on dropshipping, on Shopify, you know, that whole niche, right? So that's also a good indication. But yeah, to play, to play safe, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assume that SMA is having an exponential growth like we can see in this graph. But what I want you guys to question is, or the people getting into it, even the relevant uh, the relevant data, and this is where I see a lot of people, um, you know, they 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 almost get blinded by just looking at one side of the equation, uh, which is not re re even the most relevant side of the equation. But they just take a look at that that side of the equation, and, and then they just kind of assume that it's too sa uh, saturated, right? But not the only side of the equation. That's where I want you. Uh, that's where I want you guys to keep in mind. It's actually a matter of offer and demand. And especially, this is especially true in a, in a B2B uh, service, right? Uh, there's always a buyer, there's always a seller. Um, and the other side of the equation are the businesses that are in need and desperate for social media marketing uh, because nowadays, even more businesses are aware that digital marketing is the fastest, most, most trackable, most tangible, most profitable way of growing uh, a business. Not only are, are more businesses aware that digital marketing is the way to go, uh, to grow a business you know, fast and profitably, but Here's you know a little uh, stat on the number of new businesses uh, opening up uh, each year, right? So as we can see here, over six hundred and twenty-seven thousand new businesses open each year. So that's that's quite a lot of businesses, right? Uh, you have to keep in mind that I'm just throwing number, some some numbers around. Is for every twenty thousand people, um, you know, going into SME and learning about uh, social media marketing and starting an agency, which to, to be honest is is a huge number. Uh, the thing, you know, the reason why you think it's a lot more people is because it, it almost creates this eco chamber, chamber effect where everything you're seeing uh, on a consistent basis is SMA because that's that's really the, the only content you consume, right? So it creates this this chamber effect almost. Uh, but yeah, if for twenty thousand, if for every twenty thousand people that are getting into SMA uh, each year, six hundred twenty-seven thousand new businesses open up, then you know you can kind of see how how that balances out, right? There's still massive opportunity, right? So. That's that's the, the 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 first thing that I want you to keep in mind on the other side of the equation, which is the the, the client side, and the second thing that I want you to keep in mind is the, the growth of Shopify, and this you know especially important if you're going to the the e-commerce um, niche, which is which is also my niche. So I just want to you know th throw some numbers past you uh, to illustrate just the the incredible incredible growth of Shopify um, in in the past few years. So. From 2013 to 2016, uh, revenue from mer uh, merchant services increased from 20 to 50 percent, which is quite a lot. Okay, but from 2018 to 2019, the number of Shopify paying customers grew 55 percent from the previous year. That is uh, an absolutely absurd number of new businesses joining Shopify. Okay, uh, you know there, there's there's very very few businesses that are seeing this tremendous uh, tremendous growth. It illustrates just the number number of new e-commerce businesses opening up a store every single year, right? And it doesn't seem like that growth is slowing down uh, anytime soon. So that's the second thing. This, the third thing is Shopify Plus. 
Uh, so that's kind of their, their higher uh, tier service, 126% year over year average growth. That is a huge, huge number. Um, yeah, that's the third thing. And the fourth thing, financial report, total revenue in Q1 of 2019 was 320 uh, 0.5 million dollars a 50 percent increase from 2018 q1 it's a massive increase uh, there's very very few businesses that are seeing this type of growth uh, online so yeah that's the growth of shopify just to illustrate the the huge growth that e-commerce uh, that the e-commerce la uh, landscape which is really the future and, and it's not even the future it's, it's already it's the present it's, it's already here uh, but it keeps on growing and there's no sign of it uh, slowing down data is clear there's more than enough to go around but here's really my opinion on the topic, right? You know, aside from the data, um, without, you know, without even looking at the data, here's really my opinion. You shouldn't even look at the data. Instead, focus on this. Just be better, okay? When the barrier to entry for a financial vehicle is low and people flock to it, there's a gold rush mentality. What this means is that many people think they're going to hit the jackpot without putting in the work. This happens for every single financial vehicle. It almost creates this, this flywheel effect where people start seeing, you know, more people getting results. And so they think they can kind of duplicate that. And so more people get into it. And so it just creates this flywheel effect that it gets bigger and bigger. And, and there's eventually more and more people creating this gold rush um, movement and this gold rush mentality. And, uh, you know, this has happened with, with dropshipping, with, with Shopify, uh, and it's going to happen with SMA, which is just behind uh, dropshipping, but it just started and it will, it will only get bigger, okay? So the gold rush mentality hasn't really caught into SMA quite yet, but in 2020, I think it's going to be massive. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people coming out with great results uh, online. Uh, people are going to see this and uh, they're going to flock to it uh, like crazy. And so that gold rush mentality is created. And so all you have to do is outwork them for something better than them even if it's just a slight edge. If you're good, the numbers don't matter. And you might think, well, that's, that's, that's way too competitive. Like, I'm not getting into business to you know, compete with, with all the people. What, what you have to realize is, you know, you're gonna go up against these people, right? I'm consistently going up, and I'll, I'll be showing you some examples of this, but I'm on, on a daily basis, I'm consistently going up against other agencies, right? There's, especially if you're going for the bigger clients, like the bigger clients get approached by so many agencies. Just this week, I, I, I signed, uh, you know, I'm about to sign a contract with a, a client taking me, uh, I think it's five months. And, you know, the, it came down to a decision between this, this other agency and my agency, and they went with us. See a screenshot of, of, of this uh, right here on the screen. This is not to brag, okay? This is me just, you know, illustrating that there is, it is a competitive environment. Business is competitive. Uh, you have to, you know, you're gonna be going up against people and you just have to be better than them. You know, your, your, your systems have to be, you know, more, effect, more efficient, your, your processes have to be tighter, your, your team has to be better, uh, and you just have to be, you know, the better agency to win those big contracts and, and to really have success, okay? Uh, you know, you, here's the thing, you, you can still have decent success. You, you can definitely get six figures without you know, being the best and just bearing everyone, right? Um, but once you, you know, once you wanted to take things to the next level, and once you, you're really wanting to to sign those bigger clients, you're gonna have to be better. But really, what I I would recommend is have this mentality right from the start, and it's gonna serve you so well because you don't have to look at the data. You, you're not looking sideways at to see what other people are doing. Uh, you're just focusing on on you know perfecting your service, perfecting your team, perfecting your agency day in and day out, and then you know, you're gonna bury the competition. Uh, so yeah, that's the first thing. And, and the second thing is the 80-20 principle. What this means is that most clients in a niche will gravitate towards the same handful of agencies. This means that when you're good, doable when you actually focus on the right things, okay? Being good is, is not something that should, you know, dishearten you or, or make you think, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna have success with, with SMA. When you're good, you reap huge success and that should really, really excite you. If you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to improve daily and get better daily, then you're really gonna reap huge success, right? Because you know, word of mouth, referrals, um, and, and as I said, the, the, the 80 20 principle in place, right? It's either all or nothing. Now, that's a bit of an extreme. I don't like, you know, I don't exactly mean nothing. I truly believe that with, with uh, SMA, if you just you know, keep working at it, don't necessarily get much, much better. Um, if you just keep working at it, you know, within nine months, six months, you can definitely land one, two, three clients or four clients, right? Uh, but what I'm talking about is huge, huge success, right? I'm talking about, you know, uh, six figures, past, past six figures, 
uh, half a million in a year, you know, even, even taking your agency to a million, which I haven't done, I haven't done yet, but you can, you, you can see this, this, uh, this pattern um, recur. And it's really because, you know, word of mouth uh, starts kicking in, referrals start, uh, start kicking in, uh, you get, you know, more social proof. And so it creates, all, uh, again, this viral effect, which I really recommend you guys read about uh, in Good to Great, which is, which is really a great book uh, by Jim Collins. So yeah, that is the second thing. And the third thing is many existing reputable agencies, reputable agencies are very, very poor, okay? So shifting our attention from new businesses desperately needing social media marketing to businesses with low performing agencies. So let's just completely, you know, disregard and neglect the massive opportunity that there is with the businesses that are currently joining, uh, you know, that are currently starting up and need social media marketing desperately. Let's actually shift our attention to the, the businesses that are already, um, that are already out there and that may have, and that may even have agencies running their social media marketing. What I've come to realize is that many agencies uh, over the years, over the past years, have been able to get away with poor performance in the past. And what I mean by po poor performance is just not be focused on results, not be focused on, not being focused on on ROAS, uh, being more focused on on having a a swanky office with with a you know huge team of of people that are that don't really know what they're doing on a consistent basis. Yeah, that's really what I mean by poor performance. The new title of performance-driven, results-oriented lean agencies that don't need huge offices, and and that that's really the way. I, um, I suggest you know people to run their agency, you know, being very very uh, efficient and just focusing on results. That's really the best way to to run an agency. But I truly believe that this new tide of agencies will soon take over, and this is also a huge opportunity that not enough people are talking about. Not just about looking at the new businesses that are coming into the market that need social media marketing desperately. It's also looking at uh, it's also looking at the huge opportunity that there is by providing a better service than what, what a lot of agencies um, have been allowed to provide over the, pa over the past few years, okay? Um, and so what I wanna do now is I wanna illustrate this with my own experience, okay? I've actually had the scenario uh, happen to us twice, and this is very, very recent, I'll, I'll show you in just a second. Okay, this is the 4th of December. At the time I'm recording this video, it's uh, the 17th of December. So yeah, 13 days uh, ago, this happened to me, and uh, I'm still in negotiations with uh, this client. It's it, it's looking like it's going to happen this week uh, that I'm going to be able to to um, to close those those negotiations and and have them come aboard. Um, I'll be keeping you guys updated on on that, uh, but very very confident that uh, that this will finalize in in the upcoming days. Here's what the head of digital marketing had to say uh, the first time I, I contacted them. Uh, this is a big company. Uh, it's it's a really big company. It's a it's a new kind of it's a new startup, although they they've been around for uh, oh, they've been around for a number of years now and they really have a, a, a very incredible product um but yeah th this is what, what he had to say uh you know in, in response to to my first outreach hi jaime uh, I'm, I'm happy to have a call with you please note i actually spoke to facebook uh, yesterday regarding how to further optimize our facebook campaigns we have a dedicated facebook expert uh, that works with us and we already have an agency we also work with Nonetheless, I would be stupid to refuse such a nice offer. Bear in mind, uh, my first email was uh, was pretty banging. Uh, but yeah, then he, he wanted to ask, are you free from 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, today or anytime tomorrow? Regards, uh, his name is Ayo. So yeah, then uh, the conversation went on. We actually had the call. Uh, I was a bit hesitant to, I was a bit hesitant on the call. Um, and, and I think so was he. Um, but it really turned out very, very well. I, I was able to diagnose uh, the, you know the, the biggest bottlenecks that they were having. You know, I, I painted a clear picture that uh, they were they weren't reaping the they weren't really reaping the the huge returns that they should be reaping from uh, their Facebook ads, and you know that they could do much much better. I painted that very very clear uh, to them. And today I got this email. Uh, we actually had two calls prior to this, uh, and he you know he just emailed me. I just wanted to let you know we're still on course to go with your plan. Uh, regards AO head of digital marketing for this company. What I, you know, the, the reason why I'm showing you guys this is to illustrate just the huge potential that there is, the huge opportunity that there is by being better, by being better than these other flashy agencies uh, that, are, that, you know, have huge offices, that have you know, incredible landing pages and that have an incredible, uh, you know, content marketing team uh, and that really have an incredible client base as well and social proof. At the end of the day, results are king and, and that's what the, the client cares about. The, you know, what the client cares about uh, yes, social proof helps. Yes, you know, having a, a clientele that can refer you helps. But if you can just show them that you can get better, you know, better results on their agency and, and do bear in mind, you know, to this, you know, at this point, my agency 
at, has a track record of incredible results. And so I can show them uh, you know, what, we, what we're doing for, for some of our clients. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great way to persuade them um, you know, by just showing them, by straight up showing them results. But if you just, if you can show them that you are a results oriented team and that, they, that all you care about is results and you can get them better, better results, this is a, a, a huge opportunity. And what I would say is even better than uh, you know, looking at you know, looking over at the the, the companies that are just starting out and that may not be uh, able to pay you those those, those huge retainers uh, that you're that I'm assuming you're after. So focus on being the best, and you won't have to worry about the competition. But what I would say, if you really do, if you really care about the competition, and uh, you really want to, you know, keep in mind that that data that uh, that I showed you, uh, you know, early on in this presentation, you can rest assured there's still plenty of opportunity for newcomers. Uh, there's there's still plenty of opportunity in the SMA space, and there's still plenty of opportunity to absolutely kill it with that SMA uh, and really just build, you know build the the life of your uh, of your design and 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 generally have a, a an incredible thriving business. So yeah, that is it for this presentation. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, any queries, leave them down below in the in the comment section, and I'll get to them. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and, and give it a like. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm, helps out push this channel to a lot more people and uh, get our message out there. And also, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now. I've got so much content coming out on SMA, sales, outreach, also building a team, also getting amazing results for clients, also building a, an incredible ecosystem, building incredible systems, building outstanding processes, uh, really just a, a, a complete uh, 360 approach to SMA but with a focus on sales and now which I see is the biggest roadblock and, and big, biggest bottleneck for budding uh, agency owners and SMA uh, owners. So yeah, if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And also guys, I have a, a little announcement to make. I'm gonna be open up, opening up a Facebook group. Uh, I've been getting uh, quite a few questions on people you know, asking me how, how I go about uh, outreach, how I go about my sales, uh, and also how I go about you know, landing, landing clients on a, on a consistent daily basis. And so what I've decided to do is I've decided to open up a Facebook group all about sales, outreach, messaging, cold calls, anything that, that is sales and outreach related, and also just be, you know building your agency and scaling your agency. I'm gonna be extremely active on that group that we can have admins. It's gonna be a very, very active community. And that's really what I, what I want it to be. I've seen, you know, I'm part and I, I've seen a ton of other uh, Facebook groups out there. And, um, you know, they, they, they're just, you know, boring. Uh, no one actually engages and no one actually posts anything. This completely different. This, there's going to be consistent, valuable content on a daily basis and you're not going to uh, want to miss that. And so, yeah, go ahead and uh, join the Facebook group. I've actually left the link in the description. Yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope everything's going well in your agency journey. I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.